Join our five inspirational leaders after another week of being put through the paces on Operation Transformation tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Now on one, it's Shortland Street. And we have a little boy. He'll have difficulty swallowing, hand tremors, wasting and shrinkage of muscle, and then a shortened life expectancy with low sperm count and impotence. Well, Kirk's just a donor. He's not on the picture anymore. I don't know how he can sleep knowing that the baby he helped bring into the world may be sick. Want this? Why not? Callum? Uh, yes, thank you. How about you, Justine? A uh, drop more, and Mum is fine. <laughs> I wonder if he actually ate all those animals. Oh, so bad. This place is creepy. But don't put me off. I'm still digesting my steak. It's not creepy. It's more like. Help me out here, Tess. Old and musty? Retro. No, a blacked out shed is not retro. It's creepy. It's probably just for storage. Mm, for furniture and stuff. Or a laboratory filled with severed corpses of holiday makers past. Yes! <laughs> Great, now I'll never sleep. Let's do something to take your mind off the beady eyes and locked doors. I brought Scrabble. Do you want to play? No, thanks. Hunter? It's a bit babyish, so. Oh, really? I love Scrabble. Come on, Nate, you thrashed me last time we played. Count me in. Although I must warn you, I'm a lexical whiz. No, oh, please. <laughs> Count me in, too. What do you say, Nate? Give us a run for our money? OK. Great. I'll get the board. And, Hunter, if it's too beneath you, you can wash the dishes. Well, it uh, looks like Scrabble got a whole lot more appealing. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> How is he? Still in some pain, but much better. Everyone here has been very kind. He's doing well. It's hard to see him like this. I know, but he'll be running circles around you again in no time. I hope so. All that running around must tire you out. Yes, but it's worth it. It must be uncomfortable at times, though. The scarring around your neck would restrict your movements, yes? A little. Oh, more than a little, I would think. And the pain? Mrs. Patel, if you don't mind me saying so, it doesn't have to be this way. A simple operation would release the neck contractures and allow you to keep up with this little one much more easily. No, I do not want this. It really is just a simple operation. What are you saying? Just that a simple operation would help prevent your wife from being in so much discomfort. You were there when we said no. I'm sorry, but I... Please leave. Now! You of all people should have known better. Please stop cheating on Tanya. Excuse me? Don't even try to deny it. It's none of your business. It's my business whether I want it to be or not. You're lying and cheating on my sister. And what are you doing? It's not the same thing. Isn't it? it smells like betrayal to me. It's not just Tanya. I'm worried about you too, Mark. Oh, whatever. I am. You helped get me here. How? I'm stressed out. I've got exams coming up, which no one seems to care about. I've got Tanya thinking about starting a family, and I am keeping your secret. We both made that decision, so don't blame me alone. I've got Jay on my You're back. So what? None of that gives you the right to cheat on your wife. I need this. Uh, don't you get that? I need this or I'm going to crack. You need to get help. Why don't you go back to your counsellor? I did. She was useless. But you liked her last time. She made a difference. Yeah. Well, she didn't this time. Well, go to someone else. How can you risk your whole life like this? It's all sweet for you now, isn't it? You know, wifey's back, bubble on the way, you don't need me anymore. What the hell have I got? A beautiful, loving wife? It's all under control. Tanya does not need to know. She will never forgive you again. You know that, don't you? You can't take the moral high ground now, Maya. Not anymore. 
Okay. A C I C thoracic. Let me guess. You're a doctor. Can you tell? Uh, your turn, my love. Pretentious. No. No. Pretend. A triple word score. Where to go, Mum? Thank you, Sophie. Yes, not too bad, dear. How about a coffee, Tess? Oh, I'd love one. Great. Anyone else? Yes, thanks. Cool. Nate, your turn. L O G. Log. Good one. Yeah, genius. But you've blocked me, sweetie. I don't know what to do now. I could put that there and... That's not how you spell it. I don't think. Um, whisper it to me and I'll tell you if it's right. Except that's called cheating. Exactly. <laughs> what? What is it? Oh. oh, for goodness sake, you two are like ten-year-old girls. What's going on? You idiot! Sorry? The face of the window, it was you. What face? Where? <laughs> Sophie, it is just the wind blowing something over. Callum, you stay with the woman folk. I'll go check it out. <laughs> Hunter, you get the coffee. Although, count me out. I think I'm ready for bed. But you're winning. Well, um, your mother needs her yeah, sleep. Be careful. We're clearly being haunted. Yes, that ghost has been haunting me for years. I was making coffee. Good. On your bike. <laughs> He's destroying his whole life and he can't even see it. Does he think Tanya's never going to find out? I mean, it's only a matter of time. He reckons he's got it under control. The voice of the addict. Exactly. And he expects me just to sit back and say nothing. Are you going to tell her? Well, what else can I do? She's my sister. I can't pretend I don't know. But if you tell her, the marriage is practically over and he's got nothing to lose. And a man with nothing to lose will probably tell her about the baby too. Yeah, I know. And he said as much. He threatened you. More or less. Oh, he's such a boy. I mean... Take some responsibility for once. You're preaching to me too. What's my responsible choice here? One, I keep everything a secret from Tanya. And two, I tell her the lot. Either way, it's stuffed. S some choice, I know. But, yeah, that's the deal. Any luck with the Patels? They said no. I knew they would. Both said no or just him? Both. Oh, I just don't get it. Does he think they're still living in some third world country where she can't be treated? Why do you think it's the husband that's stopping her? Because it's obvious. He's not the one who's uncomfortable. If he was, it'd be a different story. You're right. It's not his decision, or mine, or yours. Only Mrs. Patel can decide, and she has her own reasons. We have to accept that. Cultural reasons? Religious reasons? Who knows? Well, take a guess. We need to respect her right we to make her... We need to help her. It's obviously not as simple as you're making it. She's walking around like she's got a phone in her ear all day and she doesn't have to. How much simpler can it be? It's not easy to understand. You know it's... what? I don't care what's going on in their culture. Our culture is to help. Where the hell do they think they're living? 